Hello, boils and ghouls. Welcome to Watchers Podcast with your hosts, Brad and Colson. <laughs> That's what I love about these high school girls, man. I get older, they stay the same age. Pardon my French, but you're an asshole. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Are we square? Sure, tails. Oh, Jesus, you're a nutty culture. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. My name is Brad, here with Colson Oliver. Hello. Colson, how's it going today? It's going. Good. I'm glad. You? Oh, it's good. That's good. <laughs> um, it's a beautiful day today. Yeah. Sun is shining. It was freezing cold yesterday. Yeah. Boiling hot the day before that. Yeah. That was a rough one. Yeah. PEI weather. Yeah, that's right. Um, what's new with you? Not a lot. Um, we taking away the what is it called pulling back the curtain to reveal a little show detail here yes we record we try to do every week sometimes we do multiple episodes a week yep to keep up with your busy schedules and whatnot yep so last week you messaged me and you were like hey you know i've been sick or whatever so let's take the week off and i was like okay or you you offered it and i was like yeah for sure yeah <laughs> um turns out that I would have had to have taken it off anyway. Oh, okay. So what happened was my son, my younger son, was playing in the woods up at his cousin's house. And he tripped and he cut between his eyes and then down his cheek. Jeez. Okay, it's just a scratch, whatever. Yeah. He hit it on a branch. He tripped over barbed wire, which is hilarious. <laughs> um, he was fine. He was, you know, whatever. So that happened on Thursday. Then on Friday, he was showering and he got soap in his eyes. So we're like, okay, Saturday he wakes up and his eye is super fucking red. And I was like, is it the soap? Did he get something in it? Whatever. Sunday, same thing. Monday, same thing. It's just, it's, it's super red. It's super sensitive to light. Um, he, he, he can't function in mornings. He's eating under a blanket. It's just, everything's painful. Jeez. So I make him a doctor's appointment and he can't see anything. There's nothing. He's like, it's probably just dry eyes. Um, you know, whatever. Just give him these drops and, you know, if, if nothing happens or if it doesn't get better, come back. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay. So anyway, I'm giving him the drops at, well, I think it was on whatever day it was. And I see something on like the colored part of his eye. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And uh, you're not supposed to touch that part of the eye. Like, that's really... If you scratch it, you blurry forever. Yeah. So I was like, okay. So we phoned the eye doctor. Get him in there. They're like, yeah, there's something there. The woman where we live was like, I'm not going to do this. Uh, I'm not as good as they are in town. So they're going to... We're going to send you there. They might have to put him to sleep. And I was like, Jesus this is Christ. crazy. <laughs> So this would have been on the Tuesday that we went into town. Yeah. The day that we record. His appointment was at 9 in the morning. So we get there, and the guy puts him on the machine. And he's looking at it, and he's like, yep, yeah, something in there. And he's like, we're going to freeze you. And I just whipped my head over to my wife, and I was like, oh, fuck. Freezing to me. He's like, just like at the dentist. Yeah. That means needles. And I'm thinking, are they going to put needles around his eye? Yeah. Like, he's going to freak. So he's like, it just drops. Oh. I was like, oh. Thank God. He's like, it's going to, you're going to feel it. He put the drops in. Kid doesn't feel a goddamn thing. He's like, I don't, I don't feel anything. He's like, okay, we're going to put more in, put more in. The doctor gets these little, like tiny little tweezers. Hold still. It's re my kid's seven years old. Yeah. And, uh, we're like, oh, I'm, I'm standing there watching it. My wife's behind holding, you know, got her hand on his back and out it comes little tiny piece of we don't know piece of wood 
or something. Yeah. Anyway, put him on prescription drops. Everything's fine now. Wow. But yeah, it was like... <laughs> was it stuck in? It was in. Like he had to he had to use tweezers to pull it out. Oh. And then and then he's like I lost it cuz he he blinked after. Yeah. And when you that that made it move around and then he lifted up his eyelid and he's like there it is. Grabbed the Q-tip and swiped it off. It was crazy. That's insane. Yeah, crazy like week of fucked up eye and anyway. <clears throat> Gross. Yeah, long story, but uh, hopefully it entertained. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad he's doing better now. Yes, he's all good now. So, Yuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was it was bizarre. Like I, I like when I was giving him the drop because the doctor didn't see it. I didn't see it for days, and then I was just putting a drop in, and I was like something like you could see it. His eyes are brown, yeah. So it was like it blended right in, but I could see some foreign object there. And when he blink, it wouldn't move. Usually, if you have an eyelash or something, you can get it to move around your eye by blinking or rubbing it. This was not moving. And, uh, yeah, he got it pulled out. So, that was my week uh, last it's week. good that you noticed it, yeah. though. Like, who knows what could have happened if that yeah, stayed there. It could have just kept getting worse and worse. Yeah, so. uh, yeah that was my week. Uh, yeah, anyway. <sighs> Yeah, I didn't have anything that exciting happen. <laughs> I was going to ask. Anything yeah. crazy with you? No, thankfully. <laughs> oh, I hear you. Um, yeah, we had... Yeah, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> lots of cooking. Lots of food. It's starting to get warm outside, mm -hmm. so things are kind of ramping up at work. Yeah. And uh, getting busy, but still finding time to get some episodes done, yeah. thankfully. Yeah. And... Uh, should be good for the summer, I think. I think so. Yeah. It's good. Um, did you watch anything since I did. we recorded last? Uh, I watched, I finally got to watch Luca. Oh, yes. The, the Disney Pixar movie. And I enjoyed it. I had heard my kids were like, eh, I don't like it. I was, after I finished it, I was like, what didn't you like about it? It was a <clears throat> yeah. good, I mean, in my opinion, Pixar doesn't really make bad movies other than Cars 2. Yeah. Which I didn't like. No. It but all the other ones are, are fine. Yeah. Or really good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this one was good. I, I liked it. I liked it too. Um, yeah. I thought the animation's really cool. Mm -hmm. Like how they, as soon as they hit the water, they're yeah. back into like sea monster. <laughs> That's right. If they get like a splash on them, they're kind of half and half. It's kind of like those uh, those toys that if you rub the one way, like the, the sparkly thing, <laughs> and then you can flatten it back out. That's what it, it reminded me of. Yeah. But yeah, great movie. Great story. Yeah. Um, I yeah. liked it a lot. Yeah, I thought it was really fun. Yeah. There's a short on uh, Disney Plus 2 called okay. Chow Alberto, I think okay. it's called. And it's um, like uh, the boy and the fisherman guy. Okay. And uh, it's he pretty was, funny. He was great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, good characters again. They always, they always have that one. This one for me, it was the cat. If you remember, the cat was just mean mugging them because oh. it saw them. It saw him turn into the sea monster thing, yeah. and it was just fucking glaring at him the whole time. Such a funny yeah. side character that that Pixar always has yeah. a couple, or Disney in general. Yeah, and but, I love uh, that uh, the Vespa scooter was like the yeah. prize possession. <laughs> yes. So funny! It was great. Yeah, uh, yeah. So that's what I watched. Uh, nice. What about you? I watched the latest Marvel movie. Okay, uh, Doctor Strange. Multiverse of Madness. Nice. Uh, very good. Good, but definitely has its flaws. Um, Sam Raimi is very much in this movie. Like, you notice a lot of his stuff. Right. Um, which I'm okay with. I like Sam Raimi. Yeah. Uh, there's just some weird things. Um, yeah, I don't know how much I want to say, but there's... Like, Scarlet Witch is the bad guy. Right. And she's angry that she can't find her kids. But her kids are never really real in the first place, so she could just make more kids <laughs> right. at any time. <laughs> but instead goes through the multiverse, uh -huh. like, trying to find them in different... A different version of them and murdering tons of people along the way. Okay. So it's, a, it's a strange story. Doctor Strange It doesn't seem to be the main character of his movie. Oh, okay. Like, it's mostly Wanda. Right. But at the same time, I really like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's not perfect, but it's definitely fun. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And it's two hours. 
goes by super fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I liked it. It's good. Definitely should watch WandaVision first, though, if you're going to go see this. Okay. Yeah. Good. And that's that's it, really, that I got to see. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So we're on to the review for this week. Yeah. Um, another Disney movie. Mm-hmm. Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers. Uh, just came out in 2022, directed by Akiva Schaefer yep. uh, from The Lonely Island. And uh, first watch for you, I'm yep, guessing. was, yeah. <laughs> Me too. Did you want to give the rundown a little bit? Sure. Uh, so 30 years after their popular television show ended, Chipmunks Chip and Dale live very different lives. When a cast member from the original series mysteriously disappears, the pair must reunite to save their friend. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Andy Samberg is Dale. John Mulaney, Chip. Kiki Lane plays Ellie. Will Arnett is Sweet Pete. Uh, Eric Bana is Monterey Jack. Seth Rogen, Bob the Warrior Viking. <laughs> J.K. Simmons is Captain Putty. Um, runtime... About an hour and a half, yeah. hour 35, somewhere in there. Quite a cast. Yep. <laughs> I didn't know anybody. It's always kind of fun when I'm watching animation to see if I pick up on who's who. Yeah. Uh, I knew I knew um, Dale right away, but I couldn't for the life of me. And then I had to look it up. I was yeah. like, oh, it's An of course, Andy Samberg. Yeah. Um, yeah, there were a few there. Obviously, there's no doubt that Seth Rogen, it even looks like Seth yeah. Rogen. Um, but yeah, there's a few there. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. I love uh, Seth Rogen's character mm -hmm. from, like, they call it the Uncanny Valley. Right. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's the animation from the early 2000s yeah. were super realistic, but yeah. they have dead eyes. I love that. <clears throat> um, yeah, this movie is mixed. It's got. It's got, it's real life, mm -hmm. it's an, computer animation, it's drawn animation, it's kind of got a bit of everything. Yeah, CG, or uh, claymation, yeah. and puppets, and... Yeah, even a so a hand puppet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't know anything about, I didn't watch any trailers or anything, yeah. uh, you, you had mentioned it, and I clicked on it on Disney+. Plus. Yeah. Which is where it is. It went straight there, I believe. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised this didn't go to theaters. Mm -hmm. It seems like a lot of work went into this. Yeah. Like, I'm not entirely sure how they pulled it off. Uh -huh. Because it sort of has that, like, uh, Roger Rabbit thing. Right. Where there's cartoon characters from everywhere. Yeah. Like, it's not just Disney properties. You got That's right. Nickelodeon, like, yeah. Fox, like, little Sony, a little yeah. bit of everything in there. There is a lot. Um, did you watch the cartoon when it was on? I did. <clears throat> I I was talking to my wife about it. I don't remember a sing, like I couldn't tell you a single story right from it. But I remember I remember the theme song, Japan Day. You know, badass theme song <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, but other than that, nothing. Yeah. Um, yeah. What about you? Uh, same. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't have a channel that it was on. Okay. Um, so if I was at, like, my grandparents' place, I got to see it. Right. Uh, there was a video store close to my house that had the video game. Okay. And I used to rent it all the time. <laughs> right on. I love that it shows up in the movie. Yeah. Like, it's just in uh, Dale's room. Yeah. Just sitting there. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, I need to play that game again. Yeah. Uh, it's so good. Yeah. This is a movie that you kind of multiple viewings on this mm -hmm. just to kind of look around would do you uh yeah. you would catch a lot of things that you missed first and second time around yeah this movie will be on one of those lists in the future on like um youtube mm -hmm. like watch mojo where it's like most paused scenes right. in movies exactly because there's a comic-con thing going on yeah and if you just paused it on that alone yeah there would be so many characters in that room mm -hmm. like you even have cartoon characters, like, cosplaying as other characters and right. stuff. Right, yeah, yeah. Or in the cafeteria at the start. Yeah. I noticed they even have, like, Pepper Ann sitting there. That's right. <laughs> yeah. There, yeah, there was a bunch of things that I was like, and, like, I didn't go back because my internet's shit, so I was just fortunate enough to have it play through. Yeah. But definitely on other viewings, you're going to you're gonna be like, oh, shit, look at that right yeah. there. 
That's part of the fun of this. Yes. Um, can I guess your favorite thing? I think you know 100%. It, it had to be Ugly Sonic. Fuck yeah. That was... Because I, I, I don't really follow that sort of stuff, so that was brought up to me by you. Yes. You had said that, you know, you showed me back in the day, like, this is what they were going to use, and this is what it is now. Yeah, the internet went crazy. That's right, and that, and he even mentions that, and it is it's really funny. It is really funny interaction with Ugly Sonic. Yeah, um, I love that they keep zooming in on his teeth. His teeth, yeah. <laughs> it was very good. Yeah, um, yeah, That's... very funny idea <laughs> that uh, you know you don't really. I I don't know who thought of that or whatever, but it worked. Yeah, um, just like the most obscure references in this throughout the whole thing for sure, like. There's one part where you even see like Shrek body wash yeah, that's right. bottles that yeah. they're melting down. Yeah, like, it's so yeah they weird. didn't sell, so they're they buy them up and make porter potties out of them or yeah. porter johns, whatever you call them. And it's so nuts that there's even Disney characters in this, mm-hmm. like Peter Pan. Yeah, and they've made them terrible. Yeah, <laughs> Sweet Pete. Sweet Pete. He's... And yeah, watching it, I didn't, I didn't know who. Because it was kind of a mystery, this Sweet Pete character. Yeah. And even when they get to his desk, we don't see him. And then he leans over and the reveal is that it's a gr- kind of gross, fatter Peter Pan. Old. Yeah. He kind of has like a Michael Keaton yeah. look to him, <laughs> almost. Right. Yeah. Kind of sleazy-ish. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But it was great. It was a great reveal. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's just, yeah, he's disgusting. He is, yeah. Like, washed up. Like, it's funny that they've done that to, like, one of their own right. movie characters. Yeah, like. that's true. Um, and I gotta say, Disney is has always been good <clears throat> with throwing in kind of a uh, an adult humor that kind of maybe goes over the, the heads of kids or whatever. Mm-hmm. This one was no different. Uh, there was a funny joke where... Um, they're chip and dale are talking and he's saying how he hasn't been home and millie's gonna be scared and peeing all over the place and, and he's like oh you're you're seeing someone and he's like millie's a dog and the response is oh come on i'm sure she's not that bad and it's just like i'm watching i start laughing my kids kind of chuckle but they don't really know what they're really laughing yeah. at like he's you know it's it's funny yeah uh so yeah they do they do good stuff like that yeah they have one scene (laughs) where there's police off she's uh the human police officer Mm -hmm. that's in the movie ellie ellie yeah she's talking about how she messed up right and uh saying that she got an anonymous tip where uh, peppa Peppa pig Pig. had been kidnapped (laughs) yeah and she's like it was a nickelodeon studios or nickelodeon junior studios she's like one of the police officers got attacked by the Paw Patrol. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like he'll never be able to have kids or something like that. Yeah. So they're insinuating that the Paw Patrol ripped this guy's nuts off. Exactly. <laughs> which is amazing. Oh, it's for sure. It's crazy. Yeah. Um yeah, that was it was funny. It was yeah. a lot of good stuff. And in that Uncanny Valley, when they're talking about Seth Rogan, mm-hmm. it was Bob the Viking warrior or whatever. Yeah. They're like he's got those polar express eyes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Yeah, it was very funny because it, it's true. It's it looked just like the Tom Hanks character from Polar Express, mm-hmm. where it looks so real but not quite. And they mention the eyes, like, "Are you looking?" He's like, "I'm looking at you." And they're like climbing up on each other, like, "Okay." And then he kind of turns his head, some creepy, creepy fucking thing. Um, the bathhouse scene when they go to that the this bathhouse, yeah. There are South Park characters in there. There is. Um, I've seen Randy Marsh. Yes. There. Also, that was one of the funnier things I found was that snake. There's a snake in there having its skin removed, mm. like there it's dead skin. And one of the one of them's just like gross, as a, as a, and it is. It's disgusting. It it's is. It's like oh yeah, as it's fucking pulling its skin off. Oh, yeah, gross, but funny. Yeah, um, yeah. They they did they did a good job. I like in the bathhouse too, where there <laughs> there's a like kind of a running joke where Chip uh, doesn't really like the chipmunks, right? <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, they're rapping now." Yeah, <laughs> he's like, "Of course, make them rap." It's that's like that's what the popular kids like. And then they uh, 
are made to rap. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> and they're like, they're really terrible at this. I forget what the song was. Uh, yeah. It's like, Never Eat Whale? Yeah. Is that what it is? I can't, I'm trying to think of the beat and I can't because yeah. it, it was, yeah, it was basically that word over and over again. Yeah, they're like, we'll never eat whale. Yeah. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah. I thought we were going to get like, some really clever rap out of Dale because of Andy Samberg. Mm-hmm. Like I thought one of his songs was going to happen there. Yeah. And it's like, oh, no. <laughs> Nothing. Um, yeah. The one other funny thing that I liked was uh, when when the Viking character, Seth Rogen's character, got not, I think it was at the Comic Con. Oh, yeah. And then he opens his eyes to Pumbaa, new Pumbaa, Making comments about him, and yeah. then that other character—I don't know it's what it was from. Um, it's a twig or a, whatever the hell. I think it's Kung Fu Panda. That's maybe? what it was. Yes, it's like the little mantis. Yes, looking. and then the other one is from the Monsters and Aliens movie. Monsters vs. Aliens. Yeah. yeah, the blob the guy. Thing. They're all <laughs> they're voice all talking, fighting. and it's uh, <clears throat> just a Seth Rogen. And they also I, do they start laughing? I think I think so. I think they do, or one of them does. But it's that fucking laugh of his. It's just if you like it, it's gonna be funny for you. Yeah. If you don't, you're gonna want to scratch your face off because <laughs> it's uh it goes on. Yeah, um, doesn't really bother me, but uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. Yeah, I liked that. Yeah, um, fairly solid story too. Mm-hmm. Like I like one of them's gone off and gotten the cgi treatment that, i like still a lot drawn. yeah i like that uh i like that they did that because it was it's kind of a play on you know the plastic surgery thing obviously yeah. but uh yeah it just it also set them apart a lot like you know it just it looked funny yeah i liked that a lot yeah and they have the whole like <sighs> They're kind of angry at each other, but you know they want to get back together, yeah. but they're trying to act like they don't. That's right. Dale obviously does. Um, and then you got the whole trying to find Monterey Jack. Yeah. Like, who's, who kidnapped him. Yeah. You find out there's a guy... Spoilers, by the way. Yes, that's right. We forgot <laughs> to mention. Spoiler alert. You find out there's a machine that's taking different parts yeah. of the cartoon characters. And you see like a whole wall of parts, which is probably another scene that's going to be paused. Yeah. Oh, definitely. You see like Jimmy Neutron's hair, like yeah. Cheshire Cat's smile. <laughs> and he's like, oh no, you got a Snoopy ear. Yeah. <laughs> Chip ends up with the ear. Like, I don't know. There's so much going on in this movie and so many references. That yeah. You're right. It's going to take multiple viewings. Multiple viewings, yeah. But yeah, you're right though. The story was great. It was a great idea. <clears throat> um you know, and he's he's making boot and the bootlegs that they show are funny. Oh man! I mean, they show essentially a poster, and it's like the instead of the Little Mermaid, it was the 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 tiny fish girl or whatever yeah. it was. And they're just running through all these different things, and it was oh. like it was really really funny. Yeah. Whenever they find out that the bootlegs are actually being made there, yeah, and they like burst in, and it's Winnie the Pooh. And yeah. Like, Pooch, <laughs> Pooch the Hungry Bear. Yeah. I laughed so hard at that, that and how good. gross like, yeah. Winnie the Pooh looked, because <laughs> they're bootlegging the cartoon characters. That's right. And they're like, oh, they just changed them up a little bit <laughs> so yeah. that they can get away with That's it. That's right, yeah. So funny. Yeah. Um, I liked Sweet Pete's final form there, where he ends up becoming yeah. like a Frankenstein of characters. That's right. He has like the Transformer movie leg, yeah. Woody's leg, Woody's leg. Wreck-It Ralph's arm, mm-hmm. uh <laughs> I didn't know what the cannon was. I'm not sure either. He has a cannon for an arm that shoots cannonballs with faces on them. Yeah. I don't know if it's from something. I assume it would have to be. Yeah, I'm not sure what. And then you have like an Aristocat's head. Uh-huh. Yeah, I thought it was good. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, when I watched it, I thought that they were going to be... I thought it was going to be a setup to get them back together. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, But it, it turned out that it, it was a legit, like thing it was yeah. a legit crime that was going on <laughs> yeah. um so it even th- it threw me because yeah. i'm like ah this is a fucking kids movie i got this figured out yeah. no i didn't no um, and i love that they're even like oh it's obvious it was this person yeah and then the- <laughs> it turns out that it actually is yeah but the whole time <laughs> you're like no it's not <laughs> and uh we gotta say i i have to say jk simmons is captain putty 
that was some of the funniest stuff because yeah. he's he's like a claymation putty <clears throat> thing. And at all the crime scenes and shit, it'd be like, what's that stuck on your back? And he's like, what? And it was like, one of them, it was like a tiny little like police bird. Yeah. And he just, he peeled it off and then put it on the stairs and it was just shaking. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. Yeah. Lots of stuff. And like, he does hand, uh, fingerprints. He'll like stick his hand yeah. and peel it and then like grate a layer of his skin off and send yeah. this to the lab. Yeah. It's just like, it was a, is it silly putty that you could do that with? Yeah. You stick it to like a newspaper and peel it off. Yeah, there's even a part in like that where yeah. he gets his face slammed against the newspaper and <laughs> the right. writing's on his face. Yeah, yeah, it was good. He's great. Uh, Will Arnett as Sweet Pete was mm-hmm. good too. Yeah. And it's a perfect, the casting's so good. Yeah. And at first I remember thinking when I seen the trailer, I was like, eh, it's kind of weird that they don't do the Chippendale voices. Yeah. But they explain like, oh, that's when we're doing the cartoon. Like, That's those right. are the voices we used. Yeah. Because the whole thing is like, we're not actually rescue rangers. Like, we're actors. Yeah. Like, it was, a, it was a show. And this, Dale was like, no, like, we got to rescue Monterey Jack. Like, mm-hmm. it was good. Yeah, I agree. And, uh, yeah, the only point, there's only one point where the, the voices get high. And it's when they start, they're arguing with each other and they start <laughs> screaming. And it slowly builds to that, that chipmunk voice. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it was good. Yeah. Good. I had a lot of fun with this. Did you watch this with your kids? No. Okay. I tried to. Yeah. I was like, hey, we should watch this. And I showed them the trailer and they were just like, eh. Yeah. They're pr- yeah, probably a little bit young. Yeah. Yeah. Because my older one watched it. He's 10. Yeah. The younger one didn't want to. He's seven. And, uh, and then he heard some stuff and came in and went ug- ugly Sonic and he sat down and watched it. Yeah. So yeah, they were both uh, in in after fifteen twenty minutes of it. So. Yeah, I think if I could get Kale to see the ugly Sonic part, he'd right. be in. Yeah, he loves <laughs> yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog. There you go. Yeah, um, yeah. So I don't have any other notes um, myself. I don't know if you if you have anything else you want to talk about. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Um, yeah, I just had a lot of fun. I thought it was way better than it could have been, or like. It could have been really bad. Yeah, that's right. It could have right. went for some really <laughs> dumb humor, but when you got the guys from like Lonely Island and stuff working on it, yeah, you're pretty safe overall. I think. I'd agree. Yeah. Um, yeah. I my wrap up. I've already said everything in my final note thing that I've. It's you know multiple viewings. Um, yeah. Just. On to ratings. Ratings. So what would you give Chippendale Rescue Rangers? Give it a 7 out of 10. Nice. Yeah. You? I'm giving it an 8. Okay. I really, really liked it. I hope there's a sequel. Mm. I could use more Ugly Sonic. Yeah. I thought that was get him so in, good. Maybe get him involved in something yeah. other than just a chat. Yeah. You know what they should do is make the Ugly Sonic movie now. Yeah. With, like, the FBI stuff. Because he keeps being like, I'm part of the FBI. Like, I'm doing FBI stuff. And they're like, yeah. uh-huh, sure you are. <laughs> That'd be good. Yeah. FBI um, Ugly Sonic. Yeah. Well, all right. Yeah. So that'll do it for this week. Uh, let us know what you thought of Chippendale. Mm-hmm. And like we said, it's available on Disney Plus. And uh, yeah, we're curious. We're just a couple couple of rescue rangers ourselves. That's right. <laughs> I would obviously be Dale, your chip. Okay. Yeah. You like Indiana Jones, right? Uh, I've seen one of them. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>